Qcells, REC, Maxion. Which are the best solar panels to install on your home in 2024? I'm going to be answering that question and introducing you to the top solar panel manufacturer brands in today's video. top five best solar panels in 2024. Uh, and I should start out by saying these are for people that want to have professionally installed solar panels backed by a reputable company and backed by a top tier, tier one manufacturer. Now, if you're doing a do-it-yourself solar project, you don't necessarily need to use any one of these brands. In fact, there are probably some cheaper options available to you if you're willing to take on the warranty and the service risk on your own. But as far as for this video, this is for homeowners that want to get a full service professional install with a 25 year or longer warranty. And with that, let's get into the lineup. All right, coming in at number five on the list is the Jinko Eagle G2 410 watt panel. You know, the nice thing about the Jinko panel is it's cheap. I mean, that, that's really the best I can say about it. In terms of solar panel cell technology or efficiency or warranty, there's nothing really that stands out here. But if what you're looking for is just a good, cheap, low price per watt panel that's readily available in high quantities, Jinko's got you covered with that. Now, at, at one point they were manufacturing this panel or one of its variants in Florida. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the case this year, but I know at one point this was a made in USA, made in Florida solar panel. Um, and of course, Jinko is one of the world's largest solar module manufacturers, both on the residential side and on the commercial side. So if you're, what you're looking for is a good, solid, cheap solar panel that's backed by a solid company, you can't really go wrong with the Jinko Eagle. However, as you can see, aesthetically, it's really nothing to write home about. You know, the, the, the silver frame has kind of gone out of fashion for residential solar panels. So if you're planning on installing this on your home, consider what a silver frame panel might look like on your roof. Now on a ground mount system, that probably doesn't matter. So again, that could be an excellent option uh, for ground mounted solar panels. Uh, but for roof mount, I don't really like the aesthetic uh, and again, in terms of efficiency performance, it's nothing to write home about. But again, if you're doing a ground mount system and you have plenty of space, module efficiency really isn't that important. As long as you have space to mount the necessary solar panels, the necessary quantity of solar panels, then going with a low price per watt panel like the Jingo Eagle may be a good route for you. All right, coming in at number four is the Maxion 7. 445 watt solar panel. Now with Maxion, what they're known for is super high efficient solar cells or having the most efficient solar cells. And that's definitely true here at 24.1% module efficiency. Now, when we talk about module efficiency, all we're talking about is what percentage of the sunlight that hits the surface of the solar panel, what percentage of that is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity? Right? The rest of the sunlight, a lot of it gets reflected away. Um, some of it passes straight through the module. Um, some of it is lost in the conversion process, lost as heat. So when we look at module efficiency, anything over 22% right now, I would say is considered a high efficiency module. Maxion has excellent performance here at 24.1%. Now, the other thing Maxion is known for is having one of the best, if not the best warranties in the industry. Uh, in fact, if, if you met with a Maxion or with a SunPower dealer, chances are the warranty just took up a big part of that sales presentation where they were telling you about how the lifetime performance of the system and having coverage out to 40 years is better than most of the industry right now. Although those of you who've been following this for a while know that Maxion and its former parent company, SunPower, did go through some sort of a bankruptcy or restructuring a couple of years ago. So I think with the way things are right now in solar, the warranty is only as good as the company giving you the warranty, giving you the guarantee. So 40 year warranty sounds great. Will this company be here in 40 years? We don't know. Right now the industry is going through a little bit of a shakeup, but the way it exists right now, the way it exists on paper, SunPower has one of the best warranties in the industry. Now, the other thing that sets SunPower apart is its low degradation rate at only a quarter of a percent per year. And when we talk about degradation rate, what we're talking about is solar panels, as they age over time, they lose a small percentage of their performance. 
Now a typical solar panel is gonna lose half a percent of its performance per year. A premium panel like the Maxion 7 only loses a quarter of a percent per year. So in other words, it, it degrades at, at only half the rate of a standard panel, which means more total energy produced over the lifetime of the system. Now, a couple things I don't like about the Maxion 7. The first you probably see jumps out here, it's, it's the white back sheet. So when you have these panels mounted on your roof, unlike a true all black panel, which is just gonna look like one sheet of black glass, having the white back sheet means you're gonna have a little bit of a, of a checkerboard type of effect on your rooftop. Now, I know a lot of you folks out there don't really care about that or you're not gonna get offended by a small aesthetic detail like that, but those of you who are more aesthetically inclined might choose to go with a true all black module. But the thing that I really don't like about the Maxion panel and why I wouldn't personally choose it, is just you, you pay a very high price premium. Yes, it's very high efficiency. Yes, it's got an excellent warranty. But at the end of the day, if I, if I wanted to invest more into my solar system, I wouldn't spend that extra cash on buying the most efficient solar panels. For somebody like myself, I would actually look at which inverter system or maybe adding an extra battery or some additional battery storage with my solar as opposed to throwing an extra few thousand dollars into the solar panels. But that's just me. Hey, by the way, if you're out there and you had solar panels installed on your home within the last year, leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you and let us know which brand of solar panel you chose and what your experience has been so far. All right, coming in at number three is the Silfab Elite 410 watt all black solar panel. Now, when we talk about the Silfab Elite, I think this is where you're gonna find some of the best value, but with excellent aesthetics and very good efficiency as well. Um, as you can see, the Silfab Elite is more of an all black, um, all black design. And a lot of the intercell contacts are done on the back side, which is, allows it to again, have, have more of that true all black aesthetic. Um, in terms of performance, it's sort of right there in that competitive range. So if we look at the spec sheet here, we can see that the Silfab Elite 410 offers module efficiency of 21.4%. I wouldn't really call that a high efficiency module. I would say that's in sort of the, the, the middle of the range right now. Um, I'm gonna say anything over 22%, I will call that a high efficiency solar module, but still overall decent performance and good value. The other thing where Silfab sets itself apart is on the warranty. And so you do get a 30 year linear performance warranty. Now again, when we talk about linear performance, that's because there's a certain rate of degradation. And so the solar panel is going to lose a certain percentage of its performance over time as the solar cells age. But as you can see in the case of the Silfab Elite, you're still guaranteed to have 91% of initial rated power in year 25. So this is a slower degradation rate than a standard panel. And Silfab, the Silfab panel comes in at a very competitive price point. It is also a made in USA product. So that's the Silfab Elite 410. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Sunboy. If you're a solar installer looking to boost referrals while lowering your fleet maintenance cost, then you need to take a look at Sunboy. Sunvoy is the first solar customer portal built by contractors for contractors. It gives solar installers a white labeled app with their custom branding for homeowners to use from the minute they sign up through the 30 year life of the system. System owners can track their solar project in real time and see all of their energy data from over 30 inverter and battery manufacturers, all from within the app. So if you're ready to elevate your customer experience and maximize referrals, then go directly to the Sunboy website or click the link in the description below so that you can get signed up right away. All right, coming in at number two on the list is the Qcells Qtron G2 430 watt solar panel. Um, I believe this is gonna be the solar panel that captures the most market share in the United States. This is a made in USA product. And I actually had a chance to tour the facility where this particular solar panel is made in Dalton, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video on how solar panels are made, go back and check out the video, How Solar Panels Are Made, where I give you a brief tour of the facility and we talk about the various components that make up the solar panel. Now, in terms of performance, again, power output at 430 watts per panel, module efficiency at 22%. So I would say the Qtron 430 is in that sort of premium or high efficiency solar panel range, but you're not gonna pay a premium price for it. These panels are mass produced, they're readily available. And like I said, these are a 100% made in USA product right now coming out of Georgia. So I think this is probably gonna be the most popular solar panel being installed in the US in 2024. 
uh, and you should be able to get it at a competitive price point as well. Uh, as you can see, they use what, what QCells call zero gap technology, but basically all that means is that you don't see the little white uh, spaces in between the solar cells. Pretty much the entire surface of the solar module is functional solar cell, so it does have more of that true all black aesthetic. So again, for rooftop installations on homes, it just leads to a nicer looking overall installation, in my opinion. And coming in at number one is the new REC Alpha Pure 2 all black solar panel at 430 watts per panel and 22.2% module efficiency. Now, this is not the highest efficiency solar panel that REC has available, but I believe this one is the best because of how available this product is and that it's being offered at a competitive price point. So yes, you are gonna pay a slight price premium, maybe 10, 15 cents per watt, a slight price premium over a more standard solar panel or a more mass production solar panel like Silfab or Qcells, but you're gonna be able to get a number of performance benefits. In addition to the higher module efficiency, which basically means you can get more power out of a limited roof area, REC is known for two other factors that set it apart from standard solar panels. The first is the ProTrust warranty. Now, when we talk about a solar panel warranty, pretty much all tier one solar panels have a 25 year performance warranty. However, REC's warranty goes a step further in that it provides a labor warranty as well. And so what that means is if the original company that did the solar installation, which by the way, if you didn't see our previous video talking about over hundred solar company bankruptcies, go back and watch that previous video because there's a lot of shakeup going on in the solar market right now. So what REC's warranty says is, uh, even if the contractor that did the original installation goes out of business, they're not available to provide labor, REC will pay for hiring labor to do a solar panel replacement for the entire 25 years. So this is, not, this, is, this is something that's truly unique in the industry, part of what sets REC apart. Now, the other thing that sets them apart, if we look at the data sheet here, is the industry leading low temperature coefficient. Now, when we talk about temperature coefficient, what this means is that for every degrees, above the ideal temperature. And in the US, or with the way we test solar panels, ideal temperature is 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So for every degree the solar panel has to operate above that ideal temperature, it loses a small percentage of its performance. I mean, just like a lot of electronics, when, when, the, when that device starts to overheat, the performance of that device slows down a lot of times. So solar cells work that way as, as well. So if you live in an environment where you have extreme hot weather, think, Las Vegas, Phoenix, uh, parts of California, where rooftop temperatures could exceed 140, 150, 160 degrees Fahrenheit, having a solar panel with a high temperature coefficient means that the that panel is gonna perform better in that extreme heat, which means you're gonna get more total energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. And so with the REC Alpha Pure 2, you're looking at a very low temperature coefficient of 0.24% per degrees Celsius. Um, also, the panels have a low degradation rate. So if you look at the degradation rate here, similar to Maxion that we talked about earlier, these panels only lose a quarter of a percent of their performance per year, compared to a standard solar panel loses about half a percent of its performance per year. So for these and other reasons, I believe the REC Alpha Pure 2 is the number one solar panel for 2024. Now again, folks, these solar panel brands are brands that I'm recommending if you're seeking a full service installation from a licensed contractor where they're gonna do everything for you and provide you with a warranty. There are other cheaper generic brands that you can look at for a do-it-yourself type project, but what we're talking about here are for full service installations. By the way, if you're looking for a full service installation, choosing the solar panel is not gonna matter much if you hire the wrong contractor. So if you haven't seen it already, go back and watch our previous video about how to choose the best solar company, some of the questions that you wanna ask your contractor to make sure that that contractor sounds like and looks like they're in a financially strong position. So there's a good chance that they're gonna be around over the course of that 25 year warranty. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video, top five solar panels in 2024. As always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already. Um, that way, as we have new videos like this posting, it'll come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of getting quotes for getting solar panels or batteries installed on your home, 
Um, if you need to get an initial quote or if you already have one and you just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal and getting the right equipment, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below, set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage costs in your area. I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.